Hello everyone, welcome back to Ikuriku TV. I'm taking you on this uh, particular episode on um, what is currently happening in Libya and how the migrants are coping um, over there. Okay, so stay tuned, don't go nowhere. Very quickly, don't forget to give us a like or love on whatever, on TikTok and on YouTube, Facebook and on our social media platforms. Now, there's a lot of um, effort to contain the uh, movement of migrants from Libya into Europe. So as I speak to you now, the Italian government is doing everything within its powers to engage the Libyan authorities, the Coast Guard, the Libyan police, and there is a lot of effort, I won't lie to you, uh, the Libyan police is moving with speed. They are patrolling everywhere, they are busting camps up and down, busting a lot of camps in Libya to see how they can contain the movement of migrants from, you know, there to Europe. And the Europe has been spending the money, you know, that they have the money, all right? They tax us here and they use the money to <laughs> try and wage border SSCs. Now, um, this is, um, they say that DC, DCIM repatriated from Kwanfoda Immigration Detention Center in Benghazi. 72 migrants, including women of Egyptian nationality, via M side land border crossing. M side land border crossing. The group comprised of security, medical, and beggary cases. So, a lot of people also come to Libya to beg. You can imagine a situation where people are now doing begging in uh, Libya. Okay? So, there's money in Libya too, but um, they will not allow you. Um, to have that uh, opportunity there. So, after that case too, we also have a case here which you have on the screen of uh, Nigerians who are also deported from Libya as I speak to you now. They say DCIM in cooperation of Nigerian Embassy and with IOM support repatriated over 150 Nigerian um, immigrants including women on VHR flight via Mitiga International Airport in Tripoli. Um, they have carried out uh, this uh, particular deportation of uh, more than 150 Nigerian um, migrants who came by land. Okay. Now, how is this happening? You might want to know. Uh, these people came through, um, what will you call it, Niger. You know, when you enter, is it Castina or Nasarawa? I've forgotten that particular state. Then from there, the smuggling starts. Then you leave your country with your ECOWAS passport into the bush, and they'll be taking you through different corners. Then you pass through um, Niger. There's also a kind of desert in Niger. Okay, after passing there, you now get to um, Gatron, Duruku, and uh, what have you. Then after that, you go to Agadez. Then from Agadez, you now start heading to the main desert. Okay, because everything about this area, you sometimes when you are traveling, you will even see a desert and you see, oh, is that the desert? Oh, I've, I've seen it too. Because that's what I thought, you know. So, but when you reach this Gatron, then you people, you reach Agadez. Uh -huh, then that is when you start your main journey into the desert. Okay, so... These people, after all this uh, stress, they could not make it. Some of them were busted from different houses, okay? And when you don't have money to bail yourself from the police, you either end up in a private cell, which is the worst, uh, you know, situation. A private cell is where they will hold you like kidnappers and be extorting money uh, from your family uh, by torturing you, beating you. Uh, blue and black and making video of you to send to your parents and then tell them to send money to them and then they are also using our fellow nigerians to extort this money because there are a lot of nigerians who are now into this criminality in libya aiding and abating this uh, human trafficking some of them will even promise you that they have they are the best connection but once you get into libya they change it for you you, will, you won't even believe that this person is the same person who comes from that same village for with you. Okay, he will change it for you and then you'll be wondering. So, if you are trying to make this journey, always bear in mind that your survival is 30%, if not below. Then your 
your death is 70%. Just bear that in mind before you make any move. Okay? So please share this video to make sure it gets to others. They say that they also repatriated 16 migrants of Egyptian nationality because um, Libya has a common boundary with Egypt. So uh, Masari people are always finding it very easy to troop in to Libya. All right. So, but um, they are always being busted and then deported as well. Now, CDI, um, CID apprehended south of BIR or Ashab, Ashab municipality, 10 undocumented migrants. There are a lot of, um, of um, in Egypt, Egyptian. Okay. Police patrols are arrested in Bukwara uh, area for undocumented migrants of Chadian nationality for unauthorized wearing of military uniforms and possession of forged. Libyan IDs. The individuals were transferred to CID in Kwasa, Libya for um, legal action. So a lot of crimes uh, going on there. And they also they say that police in Sabrat apprehended an undocumented migrant of Algerian nationality for entering Libya illegally and without passports. You know, they arrested that one and he has been taken into custody. So a lot of other issues um, trending in Libya migrants from different nationalities you know that uh, libya is like a record it's like a, a um what would i call it the center for gathering the gathering center where migrants take off from um to, to europe okay so a lot of um sudanese okay all right so on this uh, particular occasion they say separate procedure 12 migrants of chadian and then Nigerian female and Sudanese nationalities were transferred to Kwanfoda Immigration Detention Center in Benghazi. Okay. Now 19 migrants, including two women and three children of Egyptian athletes. So some of our people too who they are catching in Libya now, they are sending them to prison. Okay, you people who are over there or right there who are hiding can also testify to this. This was is going on in Libya now. Libya is a place where you stay without, you know, this statement. Your mind no go touch ground. Libya is an example of that particular statement because um, if you live in Libya, your heart will be beating. <laughs> if you see a car coming behind, you will you will stand by you will stand by and watch until that car passes you. Then you continue to move. So it's a very restless country. Because you can just stay there and the motor will just open door and drag you inside. That is it. You have been kidnapped. Then go and bring money. Or police will catch you. And if you don't have the document there. And the document is not an easy task to get. So that is that. Then a, um, a day ago on the, on the 27th of um, February. The Libyan border guard MOL and their staff completed training course on human rights at borders in the context of migration. The training was held at LUBH headquarters under IOM auspices um, with Italy and EU support, which is the same thing I'm telling you, that um, the European Union is not resting um, on their oars to make sure that um, uh, migrants trooping into Europe are stopped at all means. Okay, Minister of Interior um, Eastern Region Major General Isam Abu Zareba met with DCIM Director and they are also working on um, um, Corbin immigration. Okay, so if you go to Libya now, there are a lot of patrols, there are a lot of um, check, you know, to make sure that um, migrants does not troop into their country the same way they were doing in the past. Okay, so this is the update um, coming in from Libya. And then some people who were also attempting to flee the country were caught. Libyan Coast Security site detachment during joint patrols with unit of 2020 company Tariq bin, bin Zayed Brigade thwarted an Om Alquil area and attempted human smuggling and seized a large wooden boat earmarked for migrant sea crossing. This one happened on the um, 19th of February. So. They burnt the, you know, the distance, the crossing boat. You can see it here. You can see. So this is when they have set the boat on fire. So that's the update, guys. Share this video and God bless you. Bye-bye.